All right, we're finally on dirt roads up here. They're pretty bumpy, so we decided to get out. We're gonna air down. We should be on dirt roads for the rest of the day. Uh, as you can see, we're getting mobbed by little black flies here. They're all over my legs. Little bitey things. And, uh, the bugs are bad. If you come to Maine, get yourself one of these and some of this. It really works. This is keeping them out of my face, and the second I sprayed myself with this stuff, they stopped landing on me. During the day, you have these little black flies that land on you constantly, and at night, it's the mosquitoes. All right, you gotta explain what's happening. Well, somebody told me I didn't have to worry about jerry cans in the Northeast. Somebody also didn't tell me that we would not be seeing another gas station until after Can the Canadian border. So right now I've got about 99 miles to empty, and I think we've got about 98 or 99 miles to the border. And we don't think there's gonna be any gas stations, so. Rob's gonna pull the trailer so I can see if I can get a few more miles to empty. That way, uh, hopefully I can make it to the border. So while you were gone, the grader came by and I asked that guy, and I asked him where the nearest gas station was. He just started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> he said, nowhere near here. And I said, well, I've got 90 miles to empty. And he's like, I, I don't know if that'll get you there. Wow. He said there's a, it was, he was hard to understand, um, but I think he said that there's a gate, a key gate up here, and that those people might have some gas. So we're gonna unhook the trailer and hook it up to the Forerunner, because the Forerunner's getting, uh, I'm getting about 17, 18 miles per gallon, uh, and I've got a range of a couple of hundred miles, where Wes's V8 is not quite as efficient. There, I'm filming from in here, so I don't have to get out and be with the bugs. Hey, it matches. Too bad you don't have AHC to raise and lower to make it easier to hook his way up. Oh, that's not a problem. I'm not the one doing the work. <laughs> Guess you're pretty used to that, aren't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. You know it. Okay. Dead no at the gate. You're going to come to the gate in about, what, three miles, four miles? There's a gate? What's the gate for? What is North it? Main Woods. Oh, okay. Yeah. And they'll know... Uh... Yeah, that's where they're going to empty your wallet. Okay. <laughs> so we just crossed into the North Main Woods and Wes is still on the hunt for gas. He's over there bothering some of the, uh, the workers out here who work in the uh, forestry, asking if they have any gas so we can make it to the border. He has some gas. He's got to go turn that power generator on to be able to pump it. They haven't started up for the year. Did you ask if he has premium for your Lexus? Alright, I've got 150 miles to empty now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll keep the trailer since I'm at uh, 221 now. Yeah, I feel pretty comfortable at this point. The North Main Woods has 3.5 million acres of land, most of it covered in thick forest and lakes. After 70 miles of unpaved roads, 90 miles from the last gas station, and deep in the North Main Woods, we reached a trailhead that led off into the forest. We had no idea how far it went or the conditions of the trail and unfortunately went in completely unprepared. A mile in, the others turned back. I decided to continue a little further alone. Thank you. 
From Eagle Lake, we decided we would push northwest to camp as close as possible to the St. Juice border crossing into Canada. So we're in the northern main forest. And before we came on this trip, I had this vision in my head of what it would be like camping up here. And we're finally there. We're on this lake in the middle of nowhere. I'm guessing we're about 30 miles away from the Canadian border. It's just as still as it can be, and as beautiful as it can be. All right, so this is day six camp setup. I have on the hat that Andres gave me with the bug mesh over it. And this works excellent. This is fantastic. And behind camp, there's a lake and the sun is just about to set. It is very pretty here. I think this would be the perfect campsite if it wasn't for all of these black flies. What are you doing in there? Cleaning it up. What do you want, outside peasant? Just wondering what it's like to live the high life. Uh, do you want to come in, uh, bring the map in here, and go over some of our options? No, for the I think few you days? ought to have to come out. I'm not coming out. I'm coming here. I got the table ready. I might bring the bugs in with me. They might be attached to me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there are bugs <laughs> attached to you. That evening, we went over our options for the next few days using the custom maps printed for us by axlesandantennas.com. Our original plan had us going to Nova Scotia with Jeremiah from Overland Pioneers but we were moving far too slow to meet him in time. We decided we would press on to Quebec, but head back into the US to spend time in Vermont and New Hampshire after. Mm -hmm. 